Well, hey, everybody. I'm so glad that you're joining me on this journey of diving deep into the wedding sales machine. Um, listen, I'm so grateful to be able to do what I do. And uh, I'm grateful that you have trusted me with just giving you some advice uh, for your business. And I let me just say before we start this, this you know, the, the next couple of steps, um, just how proud I am of you of making the decision to work on your business instead of working in your business all the time. Um, the investment is going to pay off and I cannot wait, uh, to see you put this wedding sales machine, um, in process in your business and grow to heights that you never dreamed possible. Um, you know, three years ago when we started Ozark Mix, uh, I thought to myself what I would do with an extra 1200 bucks a month. Um, and that's cause that was my goal is I wanted to do weddings enough to where I could have an extra $1,200 a month to pay off student loans or pay down my house. Like that was what I wanted to do. And within a year of just figuring out that I love, uh, what I do <clears throat> and building this, uh, marketing machine for myself and my business, um, here I am with you today doing this full time and having a ball and making the revenue that I never thought I, I could make. Um, and it's all because, uh, you know, I, I just, I love what I do and, and we've got a great team and, and it's been a, a journey, a joyful journey. Now I will say this, I've got a couple of screens. So if I'm looking at different places, please forgive me. So through the process, we'll probably, you know, make eye contact and not make eye contact. Okay. Um, but, uh, look, um, we'll just jump right in. And I think the first, uh, lesson that I really just wanted to visit with you about is really wrapping your mind around what you're about to experience. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you all the resources that I've got inside of this members area. I'm going to give you all the resources that I've got when it comes to marketing your business and creating the wedding sales machine that you need to create a ton of revenue. But the first thing that we really need to talk about here, you guys is, uh, our mind, our head, our head space around what we're doing. You know, when I started um, in this business, uh, I had the back end tools, okay? I had the ability to build a business, to market a business. I had the cash flow experience to run money and that sort of thing. Um, I was very much uh, an MC already. I could host people well, I could present well, I could hype people up. But I had a very limited experience when it comes to the actual DJ work, which is what people are hiring you to do. And that is play music that slays, right? <laughs> um, so when I first started, um, I quickly realized that I needed to have the chops uh, to be able to um, sell to people. Um, which is num number one, because if we don't sell, and we'll get into this, we if we don't really develop a sales thing, then our talent won't get us that far if we don't have a machine to do that. But what I realized is that I needed to be really, really good on my turntables. Like I needed to be a good turntablist. I needed to, to learn how to do the things that I wanted to do so that I had the confidence to speak to, to clients that this is what they can expect at their wedding, right? Well, you might be in a different position, okay? You might be on the flip side of that. Maybe you've come into this situation and you've got a ton of experience, way more experience than I ever had uh, being a DJ. Like you are really good at your craft. Like you're a talented musical DJ who is maybe a scratch DJ or EDM or you're killing the game when it comes to transitions and like everything that you mix turns into gold and like goes crazy. Maybe that's you. But here's what my hope is for you is that if you, even though you have that talent and even though you have the experience, that doesn't translate into people paying you for that talent or experience unless you have a sales process, okay? So today, what I want to just unpack in the next two to three minutes, okay? These modules are only going to be about seven to 10 minutes long, 
Okay. What I want to unpack with you is that <clears throat> you can have all the talent in the world, but your mindset must shift to being the CEO of your company and the CEO acts uh, as if they have processes in place to do marketing, do client service, and do delivery. And, and those three things, those three buckets are key to running a successful wedding business, okay? And so what I'm asking you to do moving forward is commit that you're going to be really, really good on the day of the wedding, really good. Like, be prepared, have the sets done. You're going to kill it because you're a really good DJ. Like, you're really good, right? That part, you're going to kill. You're going you're gonna to be excellent at. But you are going to give the exact same amount of effort into being the CEO of your company because you're building a business, you are the CEO, and this is what you get paid to do, whether it's part-time, full-time, side hustle, doesn't matter. You, uh, Somebody said it like this, if no one is paying you for your work, then what you're doing is just working in a hobby, right? This now becomes a business instead of a hobby, and so that's where you've got to move into, and that's what, with me, what really was... Um, defining for me is that as we began to grow, uh, I began to realize that these processes is what I had to put into place if we were going to be successful. And it was really tough for me because I'm an artist, right? I love music. I love what we do. That's everything to me. And so every day now I have to commit that I'm going to do as much working on my business as I do the day of um, the wedding. And so uh, I just want to get our mindset started off to the off to the great spot. So I've put a couple of questions in there that I want you to reflect on that I want you to answer for yourself of what your goals are as you move forward. So CEOs have goals, you guys. We we set goals. Hope is not a strategy. Uh, I learned this in sales process uh, throughout the jobs that I've had previously. Is that we can't just hope that people show up. We can't just hope that people email us back after we send a proposal. We can't just hope that we hit our goals. We can't just hope that we have $100,000, $300,000, a million dollars in revenue. We have to put strategy behind it. And so your mindset has to shift to being a goal setter. So that's number one is I, I put in a, a place where you can set some goals for yourself. And number two is how are you going to um, hit those goals? Like there are a lot of things there that can distract you and um, you can get caught up in uh, just a lot of the, the shiny object uh, of having a business and what kind of equipment you're using and what kind of booth you're using and, um, you know, all those kinds of things and what Instagram looks like. But if you don't have uh, goals and processes for sales, you won't get paid. And, and so those are some things. So I gave you a couple of prompts of what maybe to look for uh, in defining what it is that you're going to invest in in your time and how much time you're going to devote to this process. And then thirdly, where do you see yourself uh, in a year? And um, that's just a, a prompt that I think CEOs have to put their mind around because if we don't inspect what we expect, um, then, you know, a goal is just a number. We, we, we don't have a process to it, but if we actually hold ourselves accountable to those things, um, then we can move forward. So I'm going to, we're going to break some more things down in the, in the next couple of days. Um, but what I wanted you to do is just to be able to unpack this first, uh, piece to the puzzle. And that is just wrapping your mind around being a CEO. Listen, I'm proud of you. I think, um, I think the world of you, I think, Wedding DJ is the best job on the planet, and uh, I'm excited for you. So get your mind, get your game, get your head in the game, get ready to go on a journey with me as we break down uh, these next uh, five components of the wedding sales machine and detail. So uh, let's go, get your head around it, and we'll see you in the next one.